Well, Rick Bozich, this weekend the University of Louisville will remember a special moment. The 2013 team that won a national championship. We were there. You can't vacate the memories, as they say. <laughs> and we remember a lot being there at the Georgia Dome for that. What comes to mind for you? Uh, so many things about that team. Uh, a couple things that I like about them the most is, one, it really was a team. Uh, you look at that team and what they've done over the last 10 years, the only one who's really played in the NBA for a substantial amount of time is Gorgie Jang. The rest of the guys, you know, were really good players. They were great college players, but they knew how to fit in. And the second thing was how they dealt with adversity and went through it. Everybody forgets there was a time in January that where they lost three straight games and people were starting to lose their mind thinking Louisville really wasn't going to be that good that year. And they ended up ending the season on 19 straight victories and being a team that we will remember even if the NCAA doesn't want us to. Yeah, there were people who cringed every time Luke Hancock went up for a three. He could barely lift his shoulder, but he winds up as the most outstanding player of the Final Four. Uh, I'll remember some inside baseball for folks. I mean, we didn't even, we were not in the gym when Louisville won the national championship. We were not in the dome. Our seats were so high, you couldn't hear the whistle. You couldn't hear the ball bounce. I, I hadn't gotten glasses yet, so I couldn't see the players. So we sat in this auxiliary press room a ways away in another building. Uh, but we had good company. Mitch Album was there. Hoops Weiss was there. There were a lot of us crammed in that building that couldn't get seats down on the court. But it was. It was an amazing run. Kevin Ware, that whole situation through there. Uh, one thing I remember, they beat Colorado State, just beat the heck out of them. Russ Smith and Peyton Siever were great on defense, and they just pressured them all over the place. And I remember Larry Eustacey come down off the podium and said, they're going to win the national championship. And they went on ahead did. and did it. They did. Uh, be a lot more memories, and uh, we'll have a lot more coverage of this team and what happens this weekend. Check our website, WDRB.com, and go there and click on sports.